All right, so we are back again to the second step of our step-by-step -step SSCN 1902 installation guide. So the second, on the step two, what we're going to do is that we're going to install the web server, the IIS role and other features role. So most of the time when I actually install any software or roles or features, I always uh, recommend uh, to restart the computer, which I did right now. So I'm going to log in as a members admin. So, and I make sure that my domain controller is also up and running really good. So let's see what happened here. All right, so let me make sure that I'm a member, CMD. Um, I okay that's lab admin so I would go to manage had roles and I'm going to go to next then I'm going to go to uh, sorry about that something just make noise in my ear so roles and features and make sure that I'm on my ASUS uh, I'm sorry configuration manager server next so right here, I want to make sure that I'm going with the web server role, which is the IIS. I have a check. And also, I put um, add features. So under the features, I'm going to scroll. Uh, I'm going to go next. Let's go back a little bit. OK, next. So I'm going to make sure that I have also this one installed. So most of the time, I install the three of them then I will make sure that this is also there and also the background intelligent transfer service is also there next add future so I'm looking for another one which is um, remote differential so let me scroll down a little bit there we go I have that also in the back so if I should scroll down a little bit also I'm looking for Let's see if I have it already. Um, okay, let's go. Yeah, I think I have everything I wanted here. Don't worry, in the below this video, I'm going to provide you with uh, with a list of the roles and features that you have to. So uh, maybe I should do it this way, just like I did it in the first uh, video. So in this second uh, step two, so, which we are going to install the ISS or another role. I'm going to start putting the role here. So, I actually have them prepared. So, which actually make it easier for me. So, we make sure that we install the web server role. And on the web server role, there's a lot of components right there. So I think it's the best for me is to actually put it then on this video so that you can actually check it out and make sure that it's been installed. So if I go to next, next, I'm coming over here and also make sure that I have all these selected except uh, this one. Then I go down a little bit and make sure that on the management tool, this one I have this checked, the scripts. So to be honest, that is everything I supposed to have checked. I supposed to have checked. And uh, if I'm missing anything, we're going to see during the installation, but I think I'm good to go right now. So I click on next and I'm going to restart the server if it's actually needed. So I'm going to install the roles and future. It's going to take a while, just a little bit, but it's all right. You can, while you're doing that, you can actually go get yourself some coffee. So I'm going to get myself some water. I don't want to drink coffee right now. I've been drinking coffee since morning, so I'm going to be right back. Keep enjoying the music. All right, so 
that it's finished. Most of the time, uh, like I mentioned, I normally like to reset the PC after installing the roll. So everything actually come together. So after this, we're going to go to a uh, step three. So this video is actually maybe 10 minutes now. So I'm going to uh, fast forward the the previous section for the download. So we can actually move forward. So in the step three, uh, what we're going to do here is that we're going to install the Windows server. I'm sorry, I apologize. We're going to install the SQL server 2019 to the same server. So I think I'm going to join the step two and three together so that we don't, so, because we don't do too much on the step two, we're only installing the web server role. So right now I need to have, since I already have my SQL server right here, everything is working well. Let's go ahead and verify who we are because most of the time I made a mistake and I actually log in with the local server. So we're the lab admin, so which is fine. So I'm going to right click on the SQL server and I'm going to, let me just minimize this one really quick. So it's going to do its things and um, bring it here, go to installation and click on new. So, wow, it actually give you my product key, which I'm going to block out in this uh, tutorial. I'm going to click on next, accept, next. There's nothing too much to do here than clicking next, next, and next. But there's a place right here that we need to actually utilize the account that we created earlier. Let me, let me bring it up again. If you remember, let me take the advance off. The, if we remember the SSM lab user, the service account, we're actually going to need this right now. So I'm going to copy it, go back to where my installation is at. So what happened here is that most of the time there's some firewall running, you know, you might want to go on here and uh, click on it and read it. But since we have this as a lab, uh, for the sake of time, I'm going to click next. So we're going to do the database engine service right here. We'll leave the rest alone and we click on next. So after this phase, we should get the default instance. So what we have right here, normally, if you want to change it, that's okay. But for the sake of this lab, I'm going to leave it uh, the same way it is. Let's wait a little bit. Now, this is where the magic coming from. First, I would advise you to push this to automatic and also change the server agent account. So I'm going to look at that, browse, and I'm going to browse for that account that we created earlier. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing for the second one. There we go. The third one, even though you want to change it, you can't change it. Now, in terms of the password, I'm going to punch in my password. I'm going to punch in my password right here. So next. If you have the wrong password, it actually might not let you move. So I'm going to add my current account. And also I want to add an account that I created earlier, which is the SSCM admin account. So you can add as many accounts as possible here, but I think two is okay or one. So next and install. It's going to take a while, a little bit. So maybe you might want to go and get some water. I'm actually going to fast forward this session so that you don't have to wait. I'll be right back. All right, so everything is successful right now. The installation is done, so we click on closed. So 
Yeah, okay, what happened? Okay, I click on closed. Now, the next thing that we have to do after this is to make sure that we install the, the management studio. You can install it from here or since I already have the download right here, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to launch it. This also might take a while. I might decide we decided to actually fast forward the video so that you don't have to wait. So go grab some coffee or tea and I'll be right back. All right, now that everything is done, we well, just want to make sure that, for example, in the step two and three, so we have actually completed both step. I'm very happy like that. So the next step that we need to do is uh, configure the XQL server memory allocation in order for us to complete the step three. So in this video, we already have the step two and three together. So we're going to actually do the configuration of the um, database. So I will go right now and bring up the database really quick. So, okay, I'm very glad, you know, if you're actually following this video, we already done the step two, which we actually uh, installed the web server and all the feature role. I'm going to put this information on this video so that you can see what kind of our web server role and other features we actually install. And also we're going to configure, we're on step three right now. So we have actually do the installation. I apologize, it's supposed to be 2019. We do the installation of the SQL server. We install the server management studio. Now we wanted to connect to the, to the SQL server and change uh do the memory allocation so i will click on connect it's supposed to walk out of the box if there's no any problem so we're going to right click on the top go to properties we're going to go to memory by default it normally set to zero so for me i haven't had any problem using it this way but uh maybe it's a good idea to give it like four gig and um well i will just go with uh 4096 4096 and um but uh, let's do something let, let me let, let me change it all let me change it all let's see let me change it all let me put it here let me change it put eight nine one two and I'm going to put uh, um, let's see I have enough memory so let me do one two two hit no problem so that's all we need to do right here so we already completed the step three of this tutorial so I will stop right here because the video is actually taking like uh, more than longer than I expected. So I will stop right here and on the next video, I'm going to continue with uh, Windows ADK installation. And uh, we're going to be doing that on the step four. We're going to be installing the ADK for Windows 10 and also install the PE add-on. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you and i'm very glad that you like this video and i hope you're actually doing the lab with me if you do have any question please do let me know and i'm going to see you on the other side thank you